Okay, we're back from the break. And basically what we were saying is this outrageous piece of paper that was filed, that was published at the same time that the lawsuit was filed, and the lawsuit say that we are pushing junk science and we're a fraud, less meaning is a fraud, we're not helping patients, although we have evidence from many patients that we do. But they said that it's just a fraud and people are ripped off. And then this article comes on and say the things that I've been saying for over 20 years. That's what happens, and that's the temperature develop. Now, the difference is that have, they have to use these nanotubes, which are not FDA approved. They are very difficult to produce, so obviously cannot be used in large scale to treat patients. And they're just an exercise in doing research so they can get research money because the situation here is there are some people, few people, but some people that are doing valid research. research. But the problem is that in most cases in the university, people have no ideas whatsoever because whatever they're studying, they still they got their head stuck in the box and they cannot think outside the box. And that's why they are trying to rip each other off or rip anybody under the sun to get subject to do research on us to let the research money coming in because right. it's publish or perish. It's just unbelievable. Pub- but this paper says it, heard it. Yeah. I mean, if you don't publish, you and that's why there is so much garbage out there. There are so many papers that are absolute garbage. And this is pretty close to it because it's not saying anything that hasn't been known for years. It's not saying anything that wasn't done already. So. And Big Pharma paying for the all them studies anyway. I don't know. It's just uh, donation, tax money, taxpayer money. And in this case, it's the Arkansas taxpayer that are paying for supporting that type of research, which is useless because it's reinventing the wheel in a pretty lousy manner, too, because you cannot use the nanotubes, the, par- the carbon nanotubes. You cannot use them. They are toxic. Carbon is toxic, and then you heat it up, the fumes of carbon are toxic. Of course, you know, they use chemo that is toxic, so I guess it doesn't bother them much. I don't know. But it's different enough. It's different enough from what you do to where they can call it some totally different animal, though. It's not different at all, at all because you know what? For people that were able to find the patent, which, by the way, it's in the European Patent Office uh, website. It's not that easy to find. You have to know what it is to find it. That's how those people were working with the attorney, and that's how they found it. Because you can't write off and find it, especially if you are a, a person with limited education. So you can't find it. But the patent is no compound specific. Uh-huh. It, it tells you a method to use, and you have to use a compound that, well, that can absorb the light, which means as to be a fraction of the wavelength of the light. And the light is tied in uh, with a very limited range of wavelength because it cannot do damage to the human tissue. It can only be very lightly absorbed by tissue, so it won't do any collateral damage. But then yeah. only the tumor is the one damaged. And there are just a, a, a certain number. There are different compounds already in nature. You don't have to develop uh, to use uh, engineering, molecular engineering, to develop a new compound. There are plenty in nature. It's just that uh, you have to know what you're doing, which obviously well, almost, none of these almost sounds do. like they're playing patent law chicken with you. Yeah, that's what they're doing. It's normal, okay, because patents have become a farce because people can copy it anyway. Uh, the device has been copied. It's being used for something else. It's just a little crease of difference there. It's the same thing. But, you and, know, and uh, uh, just, I, 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 I just noticed I looked at the clock. And, uh, but uh, there was one other thing that I had uh, uh, kind of a big, uh, a big point about that uh, uh, new page that you added. Uh, because as far as the, the, I mean, the, that, that, that research, uh, uh, being published, that's a, that's a very significant thing, you know, but there, there's one other extremely significant thing that I saw on that page that I swear, uh, I've talked to you a lot about a lot of this stuff now over the months, and I've learned a lot piece by piece about this story, you know, and, uh, and I've gone back and listened to a lot of old shows too. I think I've heard pretty much all of them, uh, especially the ones that I'm on. Yeah, of course. But uh, but I ain't never I ain't never heard nothing uh, from you before uh, uh, 
about about old Pinocchio, Sanjay, and Ali Mick, all three being connected to that one stack of patient records that the Nazis came and confiscated from you that day. I mean, yeah. hey, that ain't no dang coincidence. That's a setup bigger than, you know. I, I, I remember, yeah. and, and I'm not sure which show it was, but I, I've, I've heard it. Uh, uh, I, I remember in one particular show you were talking about the day uh, that you fired that mole doctor, you know, because he was yeah. selling, trying to sell out from underneath you. And uh, yeah. and then you talked about the SS coming in, marching in, demanding all of his uh, patient records. The next day, uh, yeah. Yeah. But no, no, I never had no idea that all three of them bloggers, and, and it ain't just bloggers, that these three bloggers that is really responsible for every single dang bit of slander out there on the web against you, they was yeah. not connected just to random Lays Med patients who was uh, surveyed or picked up or something. No, no. These was special patients. These patients was hand-picked. Hey, you yeah. know what? They was rescued. Yeah. They was rescued from your facility by the by the superhero friends. Right. Uh, and when the, they and they when they were rescued, they were fine. It's just that they wanted the, they went down the tube after but yeah, they, the they, they come in and they rescued these people from you, and, and they rescued their minds too, and, and, and their yeah. families' minds. Uh, yeah. So, so they all three: uh, Pinocchio's wife, uh, Sanjay's protester friend, and Ali Mick's dad. All three yeah. of them. They all got rescued on the same day from your non-FDA approved uh, and dangerous therapy. And and since they got rescued, they's all fine today, ain't they? Right. That's why they're attacking me because uh, after going back into being sucked up back into the system, then they met their demise or uh, and that I seriously doubt that uh, Pinocchio's wife actually died. He's just too vague about it. It's just uh is but they was I didn't make the connection at first. Yeah. But, but they, they was rescued. That's what don't make sense, you know. Because <laughs> now, yeah. now all three of these people, all three of these people has memorials online. They've all got anti lays med slander blogs that's been set up in their memory. So now yeah. you got you you got this cutting on a very deep psychological level here. Because now, whenever people think about them, they're going to think about you. They're not going to think about anything they did before they saw you. They're not going to think about or anything after. they did after they saw you. Man, that, that is no. low down. It's think ridiculous it. because the one off, thing I don't killed, understand. Killed off and then exploited like a dang poster child. Yeah. I mean, Against that's just it. low. Yeah. It's low. It's just dishonesty to the hilt. That's all it is. And I don't understand because it is record everywhere that keep people keep dying by the hundreds, by the thousands, because of the treatment that they receive. Chemo, radiation, surgery, kill. The best you can do is just maybe survive very badly for a few years, and that's it. You don't survive. The, the, the survival thing that they claim is only based on cases of early detection, and early detection is even questionable if people actually had cancer in the first place. But in, in the case of Liz Medink, uh, the people that are doing fine, they're totally ignored. And the people yeah. that are, yeah. And, and, yeah, the connection is really suspicious, very but suspicious. But I just did not okay. know. I didn't know that there was that concrete of a connection between these three yeah. bloggers and, and uh, the the storm and SS that came into, you know, your office that day. This is on and this page. Reason, this is the first mention I've ever heard of that connection. Yeah, and uh, I guess I just wasn't, I knew that I was there, and I just did not, did not stress it. Then somebody told me that I should, and Man, that's a it, big it's just point. disgusting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a huge pretty point. obvious. And, and let me tell you something. One of the files, actually, was the file of the Ali McFather, that contained pretty amazing pictures. Uh, I caught 
at the mall one day trying to walk out of the office with it, with the entire file. Man. <laughs> Fishy. So I guess they found a way. That, that, so they found the other way to get the, the file and get the connection and the information. It's just pretty disgusting. Okay, yeah. we got another break coming up. We'll continue on this next after the break. Okay, we are back again. And one thing I wanted to dwell on about the taking of the records, which was just an effort to try to do something, try to find something that they could hold against Les Medink, something that they felt maybe Les Medink was doing wrong and was guilty of, and they took the records. The idea was to try to find out if we had committed insurance fraud because they couldn't attack us for anything. We weren't doing anything that was illegal. We had a doctor overseeing the medical director, we had everything, and, and FDA approved the photodynamic therapy. There, there was nothing that could attack us for. So what they did is, oh, what about, and that's the questioning of the mole, or apparent questioning, you know, just to, to make up for appearances. They uh, asked him, so what code do you use for insurance filing? And, of course, he had no idea because they don't do the, uh, the they don't get involved in that part. So he had no idea. And the comment from the medical board was, well, we have to do something. So they requested the records. Once we fired the doctor, they said they didn't have any more access to anything. So that's what they did. They tried to get the records and uh, tried to find something that could get us for. We did, only did insurance filing to, for reimbursement to the patient and nothing really directly to do with us. But there was nothing in there that we did that wasn't the right thing to do, the right code, because photodynamic therapy is FDA approved. For breast cancer, it's considered experimental, still has a code. So there is nothing wrong with that. It all depends on the insurance if they want to pay for experimental treatment or not, and some do and some don't. That's all. And so they got the record with that in mind. Of course, none of that worked because there was nothing against us. That's why they came up with this stupid... Uh, with uh, this phony uh, lawsuits be trying too bad, to create... Too bad you didn't have Monica Lewinsky working for you. Yeah, well, that, well then they'd have had something ago. to jump on, you know. Then they could have they could have done, you know, they could have made a federal case out of it if Monica Lewinsky was involved. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Um, well, but, we're uh, all straight lace, uh, respectable citizen on our, um, on our facility, so there wasn't any case like that, but that's what they were trying to do, find anything, uh, violating something, and uh, which we didn't, and then uh, the insurance, uh, and uh, all nonsense, okay? Well, because you but, didn't mention once that one of the insurance companies said that you misrepresented your treatment as chemo, and so uh, they... Oh, they that was in that brand. lawsuit that has been dropped, okay? Was right. it... No, it wasn't the insurance company, it was, uh, again, the snake... That filed in his uh, phony lawsuit, that was even phonier than the first one. And uh, he claimed that we were promising luring patients to our facility offering chemo. Now, let me ask you something. Why would anybody want to travel across the country to go to another state and pay in cash for something that they could have gotten two blocks from their home? and the covered state by hospital, insurance? wherever they are, right. Yeah. Or Medicare or whatever. That's ridiculous. Man. It's just that the insurance company, with the right photodynamic therapy code, they listed it as chemo. But they used the code that we gave them, which is photodynamic therapy. Why they call it chemo? I don't know. And I asked uh, the patient, why would they do that? She said, oh, they do that for a lot of other things. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Okay? Yeah, that's one of the people that was involved in that lawsuit that was dropped. That was the most ridiculous lawsuit, even more ridiculous than the first one. They all are based on hiding facts and, and, and lying about events, but the second one, even worse than the first one, so and they couldn't provide anything. Not that they can provide any proof on the, sec on the first one either. It's just another struggle. There is nothing really other than hearsay. But anyway, that thing run its, it's course. You need to you need to do a lot of publishing. 
Man. There is a lot that can be said about it. I just cannot say it now. 